Hello family, welcome to Have Your Say TV. I am your presenter Martin and in this presentation I want to respond to a question or an issue or a dilemma that has been posted in one of the Facebook groups that I follow. In this channel I talk about shape driven success in relationships, in career, and in business. So let's look at what the dilemma has to say. Then I want to respond to it from the shape concept. So the post says, good evening, I'm young in marriage and recently I took my husband phone and went through his chats, which I found he is seeing numerous ladies. I confronted him, but this didn't sit well with him. He told me that his phone is personal, and I don't have any right checking his personal chat with his friends. I must ask for permission. Currently, we aren't talking to one another. Kindly advise. Now, first things first. It is not criminal to check your husband's phone let's start from that point because if you trust him to the extent of you can undress before him and you can have physical intimacy then it didn't just begin by undressing physically it must have begun by undressing emotionally and you have grown to a point you've trusted him that's why you can undress before him so if you're that close what is a fun why would a fun be something to be feared or to to be kept away from you if this is a man you have gone to levels with so as you can see, I don't agree with that. I don't agree with the fact that you can be allowed to undress before him, but, but he's not allowed to make his moves clear and open. Especially a case where it involves him with other ladies. Let's be very natural again. Opposite sides attract. It is the bond that can develop from male and female relation is quicker, okay? Or it is likely to happen than otherwise. So, but now here is where the issue is. What motivated you to check his phone? And just before we continue, if it's your first time to be on this channel, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button and then hit that notification bell because I'll be uploading videos and you don't want to miss any of it. So what is the incentive that led you to start checking his phone? Why that day? Because it looks like this was the first time you are taking his phone and you're going through his chat. I must think so. So this tells me that huh? what you did was an effect of a cause that you instinctively was aware. You must have noticed there is emotional disconnection. There was mental disconnection. And there was definite physical disconnection between you and your husband. So, in your woman's brain, you wanted a closure of this issue. That's why you went to the phone. But here is my question again. After confirming your fears, how did that leave you feeling did that prepare you to deal with the finding out 
was your mind in a good state to deal with the problem at hand that for me is really the question you need to ask in yourself i perceive that your heart broken and uh, i don't think you'll ever think of him the same way you thought of him before you saw the phone so what have what you have seen has altered your mentality your emotions your belief about him and about the marriage so now let's go back to the basics it's about you you confronted him or did he say he warned you never to touch his phone without his permission so definitely what did you expect when you approach issues like that every human being is defensive okay so they will, i didn't i don't know whether you expected him to own up and say i'm sorry no i don't think so because sometimes the things that happen subconsciously and uh, it takes a conscious person to cause us to see wait this is a problem so you are hurting so this is what is before you you either deal with you deal with your pain deal with your frustrations deal with your anger deal with your bitterness deal with everything about you go to therapy get healing heal first once you heal you'll be in the right state of mind to make a decision on what next about this relationship should you continue with it or should you walk out